What's good, you two? It's your boy S. Crab Blends back again with another barber tutorial. And today we are going to be doing a skin fade using the Wall Seniors on one side and the Andis Masters on the other. I just decided to switch it up right in the middle of the haircut to see which one would work better. I'll tell you at the end what my thoughts are. However, today is day 30 of the 30 day challenge. The challenge is complete. Actually, today is 31, and I dropped a video every single day during this challenge, except one day I actually did a YouTube video interview with someone else. So I did the 30 uh, day challenge doing a video on YouTube every day. However, I thought, you know what? I only dropped 29 videos on my channel, even though I dropped one on somebody else's. So I decided, you know what? We can't wrap it up like that. I'll go on the 31st day and we'll do one more video so that way we have the full 30 videos on my channel. So as you can see on top here, we just comb the hair through. Now we're doing a one and a half blade with the Oster Octane's my favorite detachable clipper of all time. Uh, we're using that one and a half blade on top to clean things up, give them a nice cut. And uh, as you've seen in the front, I tapped around really lightly. He has a nice little cowlick over there and it doesn't matter what you try i've tried everything he still has that little part it looks kind of like a hole it's just where his hair splits and uh and anyways but we throw color enhancement on it and we fix it right up so it's gonna be okay but anyway so right now uh we doing something a little different usually i wait to the end to do the lineup but today i decided to switch it up and do what i used to do when i was a young fella I would cut down the top, then I'd throw the line up on there, and then I'd come back in and fade. And that's what we're doing today. So I started out with the line up in the middle of his forehead, and then I worked my way out to the corners, trying to get them as straight as possible. And you know what? Sometimes people say, hey, I think your edge is a little crooked. I've looked at some of the greatest barbers in my lifetime that I've seen, and sometimes their edges are crooked. So hey, it happens. You know, don't beat yourself up if it ain't way crooked. I mean, sometimes, you know, lighting is off, your eyes off, you haven't had your V8 that day, and sometimes it may be a little crooked. If it is, guys, don't beat yourself up. You know, just do the best that you can. And, uh, and sometimes I'll even ask if it looks crooked to me. Sometimes they think it's perfectly straight and I think it's crooked. And I'm like, are you sure? And I'll ask them, does this look crooked to you? Is, do I need to, you know, maybe bring this side up a little bit? And, you know, if they say it looks straight, then, hey, I'm cool with it. You know, maybe I'll spin around and ask one of the barbers next to me. Hey, does one of these sides look lower than the other? If so, which one? You know, and I try to get people to help me out because I do want to have a straight lineup. But sometimes it is crooked. I just thought I'd throw it out there. Anyways, as you see, I jumped right into my zero purple guard. And I went down with the grain and just kind of knocking that down then i took that guard off and i just uh kind of raked that the hair with the open blade and now this is a different technique that i like to use to really smooth out that hair before i blend into it and obviously it's blending it out now um, but this right here it kind of combs the hair down it lays the hair down while cutting and smoothing out just a good foundation for you to blend into so now with the blade still open i'm coming in he wants to keep it stretched out but a little bit lower and honestly guys his hair is challenging for me um there's some people man that you just flick with the clipper and it just blends perfectly almost effortlessly and then there's some people you got to work at you know and I don't know what it is, but it seems like I have a lot more of those that are starting to come to me that you have to work at, maybe because other people don't work at it. So because I take my time and will work at it, they feel like they, you know, it comes out better. I don't know, but I am getting some more challenging cuts. And it's not that the cut is challenging. It's that something about the haircut is challenging. I don't know. It just... It's just harder than some people's hair to cut. And he just happens to be one of those people. If we do a high skin fade, easy. When, when he wants to carry it down lower, it gets a little more challenging. So there again, I made that first guideline with the, the blade open. And then I closed it halfway, dropped down just a little bit. 
and fade it into that. Now I closed it all the way and I dropped down a little bit more, just kind of fading into that. The reason I did that is because I didn't want to set a harsh, bald line because of his hair texture and the difficulty that I've had before. I wanted to try it a different way. and I just felt like this technique may work better to make sure that we don't have any lines. Um, his hair, for whatever reason, even though we can get it to look good at the end, it is really susceptible to lines for whatever reason. So it takes me a little bit longer. Some areas tend to stay darker and I can go over them with the same guard and next to it is light. And then, you know, then it's, it's dark in, you know, another spot with the same exact guard. Um, so it just, it takes a lot of working and tapping and switching, you know, with the guard on, the guard off or whatever. So um, now that we did that whole panel with the, uh, the, the guards off just the open blade meet, middle blade and closed blade now I'll put the one on and instead of jumping right into that zero guard and working my way up I wanted to do that one open and and kind of see how that would affect the line um, at this point the the line that we have created on the bottom of his head there because sometimes there again, there's certain hair textures that do certain things and we want to be very careful not to start creating lines or raising that fade too high. So I didn't want to just jump in with the zero guard and, you know, just create a whole nother hard line. I wanted to tap at the line that we created with the number one and see if that would soften that line up. And it did some, as you can see, but now I went ahead and put on my zero guard and now I have that open and I'm just working at that line with the zero guard and then I would close it a little bit or whatever. And then I took that off and I'm lightly, lightly tapping at the, the line just to fade that line out. And as you can see, because we did the first initial process when we went down with the hair, with the zero and with the blade, it smoothed it out. And now I'm just doing a little bit of you know, light work at the bottom. That's where my main focus is because I want to keep that fade kind of dark looking, but stretched out as well, if that makes sense. So as you can see, because of different thicknesses of his hair, some looks a little lighter right above my clipper there. Looks like there's a darker area and into that dip right behind the, uh, the ear, kind of where my clipper's at right now, it, it gets darker. So I gotta keep flicking at it. I'll come from different angles and I'll come down and see if that works. And I'll go up and see if that works. I'll put a guard on it, see if that works. <clears throat> because the front is looking pretty nice. There's some areas I could touch up, but that area right there, it is giving me a problem. And this is what I was talking about earlier about the challenges of his hair. One portion looks like it's great, and then the other part, man, I can keep working and working and working. And if I'm not careful trying to knock that dark spot out, I can take the fade up higher than I wanted to. And there again, I could give him a higher fade and it would look blurry. <clears throat> Excuse me. However, that's not the goal of this haircut. It is to give him a nice stretch fade, but I want to kind of keep it ending at that spot where we created that first initial guideline. So I'm just gonna keep working at it, guys. You may wanna speed through this, or if you just wanna watch the me, you know, keep trying to work at it, then, uh, you know, do what you gotta do. I don't know if you guys like my, uh, my little voiceovers here. I mean, I'm not the best at it. I'm just sharing with you what's going through my mind, but, ooh, starting to get it's starting to get there we're starting to get there so uh anyways yeah sometimes guys man I, I spend a little bit of time on these cuts thankfully now i'm able to you know stretch my time out a little bit more um especially you know in order to record i'm blocking off appointments just for recording so it gives me more time um and he's one of those people i wanted to do that with because I love his company. Um, we didn't get to talk to too much today because of me recording, but uh, but I love you know cutting his hair as well. But it is a challenge. But once I complete the challenge, I feel a lot better. But there again, guys, you just see me going back and forth between 
you know, guards and no guards and flipping the clipper and coming at different angles uh, just to try to work at these spots that I'm seeing. And some people may say, I don't see it. Um, I do, and it aggravates the mess out of me. It's just that dark spot I keep messing with. And there's still this little dark area, but we're slowly but surely getting it to tie together. So I was like, you know what? I got your number. And I came in with the, the thinning shears. I'm like, I'm going to try something different. And I just tap around with the thinning shears. And like, yeah, we're going to start thinning this thing out a little bit. And, uh, and dude, I'll try anything and everything to try to get it. And I worked at it for a while and actually finally got it looking pretty good. Um, so then I, I was going to do the whole haircut with the, the wall seniors. But then um, I don't know if... Some, for some reason, I just decided in the middle of the cut, and what you do to one side, you do to the other, as you guys know. But in the middle of the cut, I was like, you know what? Let me grab my, my uh, masters and see if this works any better on his head. And I want you to know it did. Usually, my wall, my wall seniors, whether it has the master blade on it, the octane blade on it, or just the senior blade, they just seem to work better for me. And... Honestly, they're my go-to clippers, and I don't know what it was. And, and now I know the Masters are good clippers, but for me, the walls have always been my go-to. But because that Master has that longer blade on it as far as the extension, I thought, you know what? This may actually give me what I'm looking for. And dude, look how easy this side, of course I have it sped up, but look how easy this side's coming together um, versus the other side with this Master Clipper. I was like, you sorry joker i could have did this earlier but now i know it's a learning process so now i know next time he comes in guess what clippers i'm going for but then there's other people i try to use the masters on and i struggle with the masters so i pick up my old trusty wall seniors or i grab a jrl or i grab detachable blades you know you start learning people's heads and and you can give them a good haircut with any clipper but you just know that certain heads, if you use this certain clipper, it's just going to be buttery. And now I've found out that, hey, the masters work great for his head. And some people, you know, they're like, no, I only use these things. And I was a wall senior guy for like 20 years. I never used masters. But I'm learning that, man, I can use them on different cuts and it just goes quicker and it just blend smoother and uh and then we're not done yet i come back in and i'll do some detail work but as you can see it's coming together and and i went through the same process i used over there it's going down like that you know and it's going up you know uh using the zero guard using no guard so same process just different clipper but there again it has a longer throw on the on the blade um so it 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 just it blended better with the masters in my opinion made it so much easier for me now we still had some work to do but definitely made it easier than before and i feel like the blend is is coming out nice still a little dark spots i'll work on throughout the cut but ultimately you get the point so now that i touched up some of those areas you know and and off the camera uh just kept working at it now we're coming in with the 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 tune 45 no drip onyx black is usually what i use if i run out of onyx and my boy bossy ain't come through and i stole stole some of his uh then i, I sometimes mix up kiss as well but I, I like the the no drip so anyways we hit the color on there uh, i'm using the sean cuts hair color card and then uh now through some hairspray some hair fibers hairspray again and uh you know Usually I like to spray one half of the head, put the fibers, spray it again, spray the other half of the head, because that hairspray can dry up pretty quick and we don't want that to happen. It gets harder to get the hair fibers off when you do that. So I try to move while it's still wet so I can get in and hit the edge once again uh, and scrape all the hair fibers off the forehead so that way it's still wet, not dry, stuck to the head, because that gets difficult. So now I'm hitting them with that white pencil and uh yeah we're just making it come together you guys can watch this for a minute and i just want to tell you guys once again now that the 30 days is open and i are, are finished and i had a blast 
I'm actually gonna take a few days. Uh, I'm in Orlando now with my family. We're gonna do some, just hang out together and just enjoy the weekend. But I'm gonna take a few days, man, to rest and just uh, enjoy my family, celebrate this time, uh, you know, of just accomplishing the 30 days. To me, that's something huge in my opinion. Um, I set a goal, I met the goal, now we're gonna celebrate that we met the goal, right? And I'm just gonna enjoy my family and starting uh, next week, I plan on dropping about three videos a week from here on out, man. Keep giving you content. Before, I thought it was going to be a challenge, but I just knocked out 30 days, folks. So three days a week shouldn't be a problem. So as you know, I like to come in and do detail work the top. Now that we got the, the fade touched up, looking buttery, you know, hit them with some color enhancement, threw some of that hair fiber on there. Uh, and just cleaning up the top, man, that thing is looking good. And there again, some people don't like this stuff and they're like, oh, it looks too dark or whatever. It doesn't matter what they think. This is the one paying for it. He loves it and whenever he gets done, he's always like, man, this thing looks so crispy and sharp. He gets so many compliments and, uh, and I like it, man. I think it looks great on him. It's coming together. Now we come back in and uh, just hit it up some more. You know, once we got the lineup on, you know, you got a better idea of what the fade's looking like. You come back in, just touch up little things, just constantly working on a little detail work to get it looking as blurry as possible. And uh, and then whenever I seen, I was like, oh, there's a little corner over here that there's still some hairs poking up. So I just came back in. It's, a, you know, paying attention to detail, seeing things that need to be touched up. So we cleaning them up. And folks, that's the end. Once again, let's celebrate 30 days, 30 videos. We knocked it out. And, uh, and man, we're going to see you next week. And I'm going to keep them coming. God bless you guys. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, like, comment, say what's up to your boy. And I will see you next week. Hey, happy 4th of July. God bless. Peace.